Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to plug in the Aircast Pro 3 and connect it to the booth. So first off is our power cord. You can see the power cord? <laughs> this power cord, and it goes right into that piece. It's the only one that fits. It's a, a C cable. Red light's going to come on. Then we take the USB and we plug it into one of these blue slots right here. There's two of them. It doesn't matter which one. Then we take the printer cord and we're going to plug that into the back of the printer just like we did before. Which I'm trying to do this at a weird angle, so let's see if I can get it right. Come on. There it goes. And then we turn the printer on. The printer's already on. And we're going to let this thing boot up. It takes about 30 seconds for it to boot up. But what we can do then from here is actually just put this off to the side because we're not going to need any more. I'm going to pull the iPad down from what we do with the iPad. That's fine. <laughs> it's screen saver done. <laughs> and so now this is the iPad. So I'm going to have you come this way. So we're going to say this is the photo booth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to wait for Aircast Pro to come up right over here. So there it is. We're going to click on it and wait for it to connect. And it says it's connected. And then we're going to go back here. And there's going to be this icon right here. Uh, I'm trying to get it on all of them, but it's the Aircast Pro thing. So we press it. And there it goes. I don't know why those icons are still there, but so now it's popped up our printer here that's already programmed. These are going to be programmed specifically to each printer. So the printer bags go with each printer as before. So from here, we can see that we got two different ones on there and uh, that's our two by six and four by six. So we have two profiles set. What you need to do here at this point is it auto connected because I'm at home. You got to press up here and connect to Wi-Fi. So you have to have a Wi-Fi connection here to be able to load the photo booth. If you use your phone or something like that just to load the photo booth because the venue doesn't have a Wi-Fi spot, that's fine. And you can disconnect it after you load the event, but you have to hook something in here. So I'm just gonna hook my home Wi-Fi, which I can type my key in again. And save, and that's wrong. Delete. I'll try that. So it, I didn't type the password. Yeah, I didn't have the password done right. Come on. So I'm trying to do this on an angle. Okay, and then it'll pop up green here saying that you have an internet connection and it gives the IP address that it's connected from. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to the event. And if you have an internet connection, an event will pop up right here that you're looking for the event that you have. So we're gonna press it. And then from here, we're gonna go configure printer and then over to air print. Before it used to say Windows Media Server, it's not gonna say that anymore. It'll just say ah. AirPrint. Now we have to choose our printer. So we're on standard, that standard is our four by six. So we go choose and pick this one. That's the regular one and then go strip. And we go choose and six by two and save. And that is all there's to it. Um, from there, your printer will be completely connected to your booth and you'll be ready to go. Um, if you want at this point, it will actually, after you hit start and load the, you have to load this before you can disconnect internet. If you don't have internet connection, it will not load. So we're loading this and it pops up. We start booth 
and then we're good to go. Now at this point, if you're using your cellular connection on your phone and stuff like that and don't wanna keep it there, you can disconnect it and the booth will work fine, it'll print. The only thing that will happen is you will not uh, be able to send any text messages out and it will not upload any photos. Um, if that's a situation and you're in an event like that, give us a call, message us or whatever, and we'll kind of explain what to do from there. I don't want to go through a whole kind of complex thing there. So otherwise, you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us. Thank you.